All right, everybody, get ready for another badass episode of Vinyl Voices Radio. Cross Town Brewery supplying some good beers for us and Frank's Pizza. And this week, who's going to be on? Yep, this week we have Shame on Me. They're over there cutting up right now. They're chomping at the bit. They're ready to go. It's going to be. It's going to be some chomping. Yeah, at the bit and cutting up with some cutting up. Yep. All right. This is Vinyl Voices Radio. 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 ESPN 97.5. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Newman. Testy from Day All right, this is Vinyl Voices Radio here on ESPN. I'm John Newman. He's Justice from Day And like we said, we have a badass show tonight. We do. It's going to be fun. Um, we got some Frost Town beers. Delicious. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice brewery too. Oh, it is. This is a good place to go hang out, especially around baseball time. Yeah. Right down the street from the ballpark. Frank's Pizza, which is also right down the street from the ballpark. That's right. You know, so we're starting off starting off on a good note, right? We are. And then uh, the stories that's been going on in here so far. Already. Stuff that we've learned in such a short amount of time. It's not really about the band, though. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna go so well. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do. We have shame on me here, y'all. That's how y'all doing there. Up there. We have uh, Rogelio, Mel, Jules. Y'all might recognize this fella, Pat Kelly. Free time, third time. On the third show. time, I think that's a charm. You should have co-hosted this one. Just I would sit over there. Yeah. For three times, you get to co-host. Yeah. You know, okay. <laughs> Set it up. Talk, you and you, call, you know, you, you're all the my agent. Talk to your agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we do. With <laughs> nobody. <laughs> well, shame on me. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, welcome to the garage. And uh, no, it's as you guys have been playing, you know, for quite some time now. Uh, I've seen a few of your shows, and they're just they're just entertaining. They're very good. Yeah. So excited to play your music on the show tonight. Thank yeah. You. We're excited. We're excited for all of it. Uh, like I said, Pat's been here a few times, so he kind of gave us a lowdown. So don't try no dirty tricks on us. You know it. <laughs> We're not the expert in here. <laughs> well, we can't do everything every time the same way. I mean, you got to change. I know. Himself, I was so. a little jealous with the whole poolside thing. If it wasn't like coming down like <laughs> the <Wow>. arm again <laughs> of rain right now that would be uh yeah that would be cool well like john said pat hasn't seen all the dirty tricks oh. so <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> we gonna find out uh, get that james brown video back out yeah <laughs> <That's more. laughs> all right well, let's talk about some music how about that yeah what song are we going to listen to first? All right. This is the first on this show. The first song we're going to listen to is Shame On Me, which is also the name of the band, y'all. Yeah. So I, I always think it's cool like when a band says the band's name in the song. <laughs> but sometimes they just sneak it in. They don't actually say, title the song, the name of the band. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what these guys did. Yeah, most of the time people don't even get the name of the band, even though we say it. <laughs> like, okay, that's true. It's like, what's the name of the band? Shame on me. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just a, a song about learning your lesson over and over and over again. I don't know what that's the song. <laughs> Shame <Yeah>. on you. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Dummy wrong. Like a fool, that ain't no way to treat me, boo. Yeah, I saw the signs, fought the ugly truth. Thought I'd rather be blind, blind, blind without you.
that was shame on me. Yeah. Singing shame on me. Yeah. Yeah. Shame on her. <laughs> I don't know what's talking you about. Yeah, I live a good, straightforward life and no regrets. And just, I'm just for real. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look at the weather outside right now. You don't have much time. It's no coming. regrets. So go <laughs> not mind. No regrets. <laughs> well, they're playing it. Yeah, no regrets. <laughs> regrets. Regrets. <laughs> regrets. <laughs> okay, they're going That's on a the tangent. second time I got you with that word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta reel it back in. Reel it back. No, I, I mean, I think that's a good place for us to start with that song because, you know, uh, we were talking about, before the show about how diverse the sound is. There's a whole bunch of different genres you guys pull from. And I like this one because it's got kind of that 50s vibe to me. Yeah. Then there's some, like, current, you know, like, boot is mentioned in there. You know? Yeah. So it kind of, like, connects these, you know, eras. Expands genres. That's right. Yeah, right, from Rose back is, then to now. Rose was a big, uh, big influence in that with his guitar style. He was the rockabilly DJ for a good man. When we first met, he was he was DJing for beers <laughs> at the Chico Hut <laughs> at the Continental. Yeah. yeah, I was a big, big into rockabilly. All in, um, actually, first time I got a taste of it was uh, I went to see Morrissey in '93. And he showed up. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> this was back this when he was, showed up. This was, this was his, like, Arsenal. Yeah. It was like his second or third album solo. And uh, yeah, I went and I was just like, you know, so this kid in middle school, I didn't have, I didn't know anybody. I was just listening to music and I saw everybody was like super greased up. They had the 50s garb. And mm -hmm. after that, I was just like obsessed. Like, so, and then, you know, playing guitar and stuff, I always, that was like a big influence on me. But it's mm -hmm. That is good sound. Yeah. But, uh, I always liked, like, the Supremes and girl groups. And so it just kind of went mm -hmm. with what with what he was listening to. So our playlist was always, like, really cool. And all the influences of, like, the traditional R&B, like, uh, like Bruce Brown and Little Richard and stuff <laughs> like that, that kind of. That kind of pulled us in too. James Brown interviews. James yeah. Brown interview. <laughs> Ike Turner. But like, yeah. but like more modern I stuff like too. That. You know, like <laughs> Shannon and the Clams and the Growlers, like mm -hmm. music like that. Kind of like, oh, okay, I can hear where it's kind of coming back, but I could do something more rocking with it or something different mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. So it's a, it's just we just. What call it like gumbo? That's <laughs> yeah. like it's best. rock and roll. Yeah, we told people it's it's like rock and roll. It's gumbo, rock like, and roll. There's so much like of everything we like. It's kind of just throw it in the pot and see what comes out. But yeah, I mean, as a way, you know, it should be right. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you're. A, I'm not a musician, so I really don't know. But if I was, would I want to play the same sound all the time? No. You know, when they kind of get old a little bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like we were, we're like always experimenting with different sounds too like i think we have well our next album will have some like kind of psychedelic vibes to yeah. it too where we were yeah. playing around with the different oh, sounds oh wait kind of you went on okay. i went, went out there the, the billy gibbons rabbit hole is uh <laughs> uh just sounds you know i even revamped some of my amps and stuff kind of around his specific stuff so and you can hear some of it in that you know, and uh, using a big muff now, which is totally not something that even goes with rockabilly or anything so like that. It's just like, oh. yeah, we kind of just like we we really loved rockabilly, but we wanted to do like so much more than just one thing, because like when you go to like different shows and it's all the same genre, it feels like it's the same thing over and over. But you could literally probably put us in any lineup and we have a song that go that'll go with it you know it will make it sound like we belong here <laughs> and then we'll sing pretty <laughs> if that maybe the audience doesn't know y'all or but maybe has caught on that y'all are a married couple oh yeah we're <laughs> that's my ball and chain lady <laughs> but i think it's a, <laughs> i think you know this is a good opportunity for us to talk about you know that uh, union, you know, it's like 
day to day, we all know you, husband and wife, we do our thing. Yeah. And, but, you know, having the creative aspect that, and that too is that, you know, yeah. uh, Jules was talking about the cheese man earlier. Like, <laughs> tell, is it, does it, do y'all have like a butt heads anytime or as far as what you want to do creating yeah, like all oh, oh, time all the time you know we don't get through things without the eye roll that's how we know progress is being made yeah. when <laughs> somebody has to leave the room <laughs> you know, let me tell you a little, little story this man i bought him i bought him that guitar that he plays like three years before he actually started playing it we had kids everything going on and then I was just like, I'd been in a band before and it'd been four years and I'm like going crazy. I'm like, if you don't play that dang guitar, I'm gonna go find five guys who will. <laughs> what do you want to play? She had you know, like, I, to play. I didn't know he could play the way he's playing. You know, I'm still kind of mad about it. Just <laughs> all, all, that, all that time wasted. For real? <laughs> well, four years? Just, we were just sitting we're in the house a lot of art. then and YouTube. And... That gumbo had to like simmer. Yeah. yeah. It did. It did. And but like the first uh, Baby Daddy was the first song. Uh -huh. And man, I just, someone told me about Audacity oh, and I God. bought a microphone. <laughs> yeah. And I literally yeah. just went and layered everything like, by myself. Yeah, just so we would have something Even, uh, to try and get a lure a band in. We're trying yeah. to get so, players. So it know. was just a maraca and a, just oh, popping yeah. the snare and then her bass and then the guitar. We just did it on like what four or five little layers, baby daddy. Yeah, yeah, baby. Daddy. And then that just Sorry, took off once people started hearing it. We're like, all right, I guess we're doing something right. Yeah, <laughs> it got Billy's attention too. Yeah. Billy was like, that's how I really dig really what y'all are doing. Billy, we miss you. Yeah, where's he tonight? He's on the under the well. well. Yeah. He's not feeling well. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. five of us. Somebody's oh, always some yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, like you said, the car is falling apart, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so just always happy. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. You know how it is. I might write that song tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Driving in Keywood on a rainy start. night. So, you know, right? Yeah, I did it right. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's not fight. <laughs> Come on, drive shaft. Get back where you belong. <laughs> like Tommy Boy. Yep. <laughs> See, we already <laughs> wrote half of it, just like that. And so there was no, even, not even any, you know, no eye rolling. No, it was just like yet. we're not to the not end. No, all right, let's rest. There's still a whole process. Quick, must rest. Open up audacity. Let's build this for real and send it to me, okay? Not <laughs> yeah, oh I yeah, mean, I think my instrument's gonna be like <laughs> that's, that's that one. They're they can do a sample it now. You'd be famous. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a break. And you guys, I do need another beer. So let's frost down. But uh, this is Vital Voices Radio. We'll be right back. Two, three, five. 